solve the simultaneous equations 2x minus 1 over 5 plus y plus 4 over 3 is equal to 3 and x plus 4 over 7 plus y is equal to 3. We need to tidy up the equations first by getting rid of the fractions and rearranging. We can write each equation in standard form ax plus by is equal to c. So basically get our x's and y's on the left of the equal sign and get any constants on the right of the equal sign. So we're going to start off with 2x minus 1 over 5 plus y plus 4 over 3 is equal to 3. So we have fifths and thirds and our lowest common multiple between 5 and 3 is going to be 15 because the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15 and the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So 15 is the LCM, the lowest common multiple. So we're going to multiply across by the LCM which is 15. So we have 15 times 2x minus 1 over 5 plus 15 times y plus 4 over 3 equals 15 times 3. So 15 divided by 5 is going to be 3. So it's going to be 3 multiplied by the numerator. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So it's going to be 5 times the numerator. And 15 times 3 is 45. Then we multiply out the brackets. 3 by 2x is 6x. 3 by minus 1 is minus 3. 5 by y is 5y. 5 by 4 is plus 20. And that's still equal to 45. The minus 3 and the plus 20 go together to give us 17. So we have 6x plus 5y plus 17 is equal to 45. And then the 17 comes over the equal sign becomes minus 17. And 45 minus 17 is 28. So now we have 6x plus 5y equals 28. And it's in the form of ax plus by equals c. So basically the x and the y is on the left of the equals and the constant is on the right. So now we need to do the same with our other equation. So our second equation was x plus 4 divided by 7 plus y is equal to 3. So our lowest common multiple is going to be 7 because our only denominator is 7. So we're going to multiply across by the LCM which is 7. So we're going to have 7 multiplied by x plus 4 over 7 plus 7 times y equals 7 times 3. So then 7 into 7 goes 1, so the 7's cancel out, leaving us with x plus 4. 7 times y is 7y, and 7 times 3 is 21, so equals 21. So then we have x plus 4 plus 7y equals 21. I'm going to bring the plus 4 over the equal sign, it becomes minus 4. 21 minus 4 is 17. So you get x plus 7y equals 17. We can now eliminate x by multiplying the second equation by minus 6. Then adding the two equations will allow us to calculate y. Having done so, we can return to one of the original equations and calculate x. So our equation number 1 from the previous slide was 6x plus 5y equals 28. Equation number 2 is x plus 7y equals 17. So we're going to multiply this entire equation by minus 6. So x multiplied by minus 6 gives us minus 6x. 7y multiplied by minus 6 gives us minus 42y. And 17 multiplied by minus 6 gives us minus 102. So now we have 6x minus 6x and they'll cancel out, which is what we want. And 5y minus 42y is minus 37y. And 28 minus 102 is minus 74. So we can change the signs across to make positive 37y. So we get 37y equals 74. So then 74 divided by 37 is going to be 2. So y is equal to 2. Alternatively, we could have just said minus 74 divided by minus 37 gives us 2. So either way, y is equal to 2. Now we need to find x. So we're going to substitute the y back into one of the equations. I'm going to substitute it into this equation. 
So I'm going to have x plus 7y equals 17. So it's going to be x plus 7 multiplied by 2 equals 17 because y is now 2. So x plus 7 times 2 equals 17. 7 by 2 is 14. And 17 minus 14 leaves us with 3. So x is equal to 3. So solving these simultaneous equations, we get x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. Or alternatively, we could say the point at which these two lines would cross on a coordinate axis would be 3, 2. x value of 3, y value of 2. This would be the point of intersection of our two graphs. Okay, so this is the same question, the same equations that we need to solve simultaneously, but I'm just going to work them out in a slightly different way. So I'm going to take the first equation, which I'm calling A. So 2x minus 1 over 5 plus y plus 4 over 3 is equal to 3. And instead of multiplying across by the LCM, what I'm going to do is simplify the left-hand side of the equal sign. So simplify the two fractions, add them together. And when I have simplified them as much as I can, I'm going to cross, multiply and solve. So first of all, the 3 is going to become 3 over 1 because any whole number can go over 1. And I need to have a fraction on both sides when I cross multiply. So then I say, well, I've got 5 and 3, so my common denominator is 15. So 5 into 15 goes 3 times, and I bring down the numerator. And then 3 into 15 goes 5 times, and I bring down the numerator as well. Then I'm going to multiply out the brackets. 3 by 2x is 6x, 3 by minus 1 is minus 3, 5 by y is 5y, 5, 5 by 4 is 20. And that's still over 15 and equal to 3 over 1. Then I can simplify. Minus 3 plus 20 is 17. And now I cannot simplify anymore, so I can cross multiply. So it's going to be 6x plus 5y plus 17 multiplied by 1. And then 15 multiplied by 3. So I get 6x plus 5y plus 17 equals 45. And then 45 minus 17 is 28. So 6x plus 5y equals 28. Then I'm going to take my second equation, which I'm calling b. And I'm going to change the y to be y over 1. And the 3 to be 3 over 1. Again, just like with the first equation, I'm going to simplify the left-hand side of the equal sign. So I'm going to add together these two fractions. And when they are simplified, I'm going to cross, multiply and solve. So 7 and 1, my common denominator will be 7. 7 goes into 7 once. And that's going to be multiplied by the numerator. And then 1 goes into 7 7 times. And that's going to be multiplied by that numerator. 1 by x is x. 1 by 4 is 4. 7 by y is 7y. Now I've simplified as much as I can. I'm going to cross multiply. So x plus 4 plus 7y multiplied by 1. And 7 by 3. So I get x plus 4 plus 7y equals 21. I'm going to bring the 4 over the other side. It becomes minus 4. 21 minus 4 is 17. So I get x plus 7y equals 17. So then I'm going to write the 6x plus 5y equals 28 up here. And the x plus 7y equals 17 over here. So I have my two equations, so the two highlighted equations. And now I'm going to solve simultaneously. So what I want is the x's or the y's to match up with the same coefficient in front and one to be a positive and one to be a negative so that they can cancel. So if I multiply this entire equation by 6, I'm going to get my x's to match up. So the top line stays the same. 6x plus 5y equals 28 stays as it is. And then 6 by x is 6x. 6 by 7y is 42y. 6 by 17 is 102. Then I'm going to change the signs of my bottom equation. It doesn't matter if I do it to the top equation or the bottom equation. So this becomes a minus, this becomes a minus, and this becomes a minus. So 6x minus 6x cancel out. And 5 minus 42 is minus 37y. And 28 minus 102 is minus 74. Then minus 74 divided by minus 37 gives us 2. So y is equal to 2. Now I'm going to substitute y equals to 2 into one of my equations. I'm going to go with x plus 7y equals 17. So I have x plus 7y equals 17. I swap the y for 2 with brackets around it. 7 times 2 is 14. 
17 minus 14 is 3, so x is equal to 3. So my point of intersection is going to be 3, 2.